The US Masters kicks off tomorrow in the world of golf, but who needs any of this paraphernalia when you have a rugby ball, a perfect pitch here at the Twickenham Stoops are coming up on this week's episode of The Wrap. We are chatting to Lewis Rees Summit, the Wales sensation, about picking his perfect player. Unless you want me to say you, I mean. <laughs> you definitely can't say me. And I take on my former teammate, Danny Kerr, at Rugby Golf. <laughs> Play it as it lies, Monier. So last week, you named Antoine Dupont as this season's MVP. So I asked the question as to who you might think was the best player in the world. So this is what you've had to say, starting with the Blonde Brothers game and the Slash Boy MC Grime Squad, brought up Bowden Barrow, the All Blacks great, who's now doing it week in, week out in Japan. Tommy B. Remy chucked in. Faf de Klerk in the mix, and I've got to say, he is absolutely one of the best. And Dane and others said, don't sleep on Cheslin Colby. Of course, we know he's a phenomenal player. But if you could only pick, pick one player, whether it be for your team, your local club, your school, whatever it might be, who would that person be? Get in touch and let me know. And from the men's game to the women's game, well, last weekend we saw the opening round of the Women's Six Nations and many congratulations to France women as well as the Red Roses for winning the opening fixtures. And on the topic of individual performances, well, I tip my hat, if it was the white way round, to Poppy Clill, also establishing herself as one of the best women rugby players in the world. Congratulations. Is this casual enough? Okay, cool. So someone I caught up with last week is the Wales speedster Lewis Rees, um, who's on his way to being in great company as one of the best rugby players in the world. But we wanted to know who would make up his perfect rugby player. Check this out. You're brand new to the international scene. I want you to pick your perfect player. So I mean, we, we're hoping that you're going to be able to select people that you've either played with or against to be able to fulfil each of those criteria. So starting with strength, who are you putting in that category? Falatau, maybe? Falatau. He's an absolute beast. <laughs> I wouldn't want him running at me on, on the edge. For speed, I mean, you're known for your speed. You can select yourself, but if you had to pick someone else, who, who, who would it be? Yeah, I, yeah, it's got to be Ryan Havana. If you can beat a cheater in a race, and I'm, I'm sure he, <laughs> I'm sure he's probably the fastest player. <laughs> I think that's fair. Uh, passing, this is a good one. Passing. Uh, Aaron Smith. Mate. Best passer in the world. Crazy. You never see the ball on the ground when he passes it. <laughs> no, that's very true. What about skills? Just sheer brilliant skills. Finn Russell. That try when you put it through the guy's legs. If you're playing with him, it must be... Oh. OK, fair play. I love that. Um, kick in. Can we pass down present players? Yeah, whoever you want. You can do what you want, Lewis. Mate. You, you're Guinness Six Nations champion. Mate. You're smashing it. Pick uh, football if you want. <laughs> Out of hands, probably Stuart Hogg. His spirals. <laughs> I don't want to play against him when he's putting those spirals in. The last one, I think I know who you're going to say. It's leadership. Well, I mean, I've Alan Wynne Jones. <laughs> Give us an insight to Alan Wynne Jones. He, he doesn't waste many words, does he? Yeah, he's very helpful. He's always like, always asking if I need help or anything like that. And then, obviously, on game days, he turns into a machine. <laughs> um, in the team talks, he's he never says a word wrong. Okay, well, obviously, no one, everyone knows that there isn't such thing as a perfect player. But if there was, who's who's the player that's come closest to being that perfect player that you played with? against past or present? Well, I'd probably say my idol because that's who I've always wanted to be. And obviously Shane Williams is is my idol and I don't think I could say anyone else. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to say. Um, Unless so you want me to say you, I mean. <laughs> you definitely can't say me. Lewis, it's been so good chatting to you. Uh, congratulations for everything that you've achieved and all the very best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. See you soon. Some great names there from Louis of Rees Summit. I've been so fortunate to play with some very skilled players, but the one that stands out above everyone else is Danny Kerr. It was only a couple of weeks ago, is at Bristol. Drop goal from Danny Kerr. Stop it. 22 metres out. Drop goal. What do you think of that, Danny? 
bit close for my liking. That <laughs> Come over here. I just talked to you up there, said you're one of the most skilled players that I've played with, but those drop goals, right foot, left foot, how do you do it for any boys and girls that are watching? It's very kind of you. We did play with some very <laughs> skillful players, but I'll take that. And it wasn't from 22, it was more like 40 okay. against Bristol. Well, wait but uh, the only thing it is, mate, is practice. It sounds simple, but it's all in the ball drop. If you get the ball drop right and get the connection right, the ball should go where you want to go. If, okay. you, if you throw it up too much, you could be hitting a dead, a, a dead duck. So the best thing to do, get the drop right, head down, chase through the ball, goes to target. Three points. That was very good. That was very good. There is a reason as to why we're wearing these flat caps. Not only are they really fashionable, but of course the US Masters cracked on this week. So I thought I would bring you here. Well, you brought me here. This is your home. You used to be my home and play a game of rugby golf. Lovely. Do you fancy it? I am very much looking forward to this. Okay, but for anyone who doesn't know what rugby golf is, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's rugby and golf. First point of contact is the bin on the halfway line. We need to get the ball in that bin in as few shots as possible. After we have completed that set of posts, we're going to get that over, but it's a drop goal. Once it goes over that, we're then going to kick through underneath the post and make our way to the hole. The hole is exactly what it is. It's a paddling pool with a flag in it. Do that in as few shots as possible. Are you up for it? Bang up for this, mate. After you, sir. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Imagine Daniel coming straight hot after you. Kick Just. left. Oh, gosh. That's okay. That's okay. Just needs to sit now. Sit. Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, Danny. I fully lost my head. <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm take, seven. Take a couple of sevens there. No, you're a ten. Drop and strike, Oogs. Drop <laughs> and strike. <laughs> That's <Kids>. snuck in. <laughs> Play it as it lies, Monye. That is such a lucky bounce. How is that a lucky bounce? I told you how this gets doctored to make him look good. Do not hit the post. I'm going spiral, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this to bed. Here we are. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> good bounce. I've stolen 20 yards. Terrible. Oh, gosh. Good strike. This has to go in then, really, doesn't it? Go for it. it, go on. Mate, mate. So you've had one extra shot than me. Ah, this is tricky. Okay, this for the hole, mate. Danny Kerr, um, any final thoughts or words? Just, you're welcome, World Rugby, for that, for that content I've just given you, making him look a lot better than he actually is. No, but well done, Luke. Thank Every you. dog has his day. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So that's it for a rugby golf challenge. Why don't you head down to your local rugby club, your local school, and have a go. Have a go getting the ball in the bin or the full course itself. Submit your videos at World Rugby, at Danny Care, at Hugo Money. And that's pretty much it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for all the notifications. Hey, Danny? It's a wrap. That's a wrap. Here we go. He had to win something, didn't he?